I'm back today with a video about what's new in my wardrobe. So I've picked up a few things from a few different retailers. So it didn't make sense to do like a haul because there's only like a couple of things from each one. So I thought I'd just do like a collective what I've been adding to my wardrobe recently. There's some really pretty pieces for spring here. Um, this dress is actually from last year, it's from Forever 21, but if I can find an alternative to it, I will link it down below. This was like my favourite dress this time last year. Honestly, I adore it. <laughs> if you're new to my channel or you just haven't subscribed yet, I'd really, really love for you to hit the button down below so you get to see more of me. I do a lot of fashion, beauty, lifestyle, vlogs. <laughs> And I've even got some travel coming up as well, if you want to see that. So I'd really, really, really love for you to subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and I'll do more of them. Because this is my first What's New My Wardrobe video. So it's exciting. <laughs> first up, I got a couple of pieces from ASOS. So I got this gorgeous broderie anglais top. Um, it's got cheering all around the um, bust down to like just a few ways and then that beautiful peplum and the broderie on is really really pretty it's like little daisies <laughs> and it looks so cute i'm thinking this would look so pretty on holiday with like denim shorts or paper bag waist shorts because like i love wearing them on holiday um but it, it would look nice in with like midi skirts or jeans or anything here in the uk because i mean we did have some sunshine for like a week or so and I was like yes get in springs here but I think it was a lie I think it was an April Fool's because <sighs> it's gone oh I thought I'd better include prices so this was £20 from ASOS and I was very lucky I got it with a discount so this next thing I've been wearing non-stop you have probably seen it on my Instagram a couple of times by now. I wore it to go to BlogCon in London as well. Um, like, it's so comfortable, it's not my favourite thing ever. And it's this jumpsuit from ASOS. It was £28. Again, it's got the shearing detail around the bust. Um, and it stops sort of halfway between your boobs and your waist. So it kind of flows out from there. So <laughs> even if you've got a bit of a food baby situation going on, you will not be able to see it, which is one of the reasons why I love it. <laughs> um, it's so comfortable. Shearing is really comfortable because obviously, like, it's really, really stretchy. And it just fits so nicely. Um, I'd definitely say this is definitely true to size. And I'm also impressed because it is a jumpsuit. I'm not certain if it was meant to be, like, bit cropped because it fits me perfectly but obviously I'm only five foot two so it wasn't from the petite section so I don't know if you are a bit taller this will probably be a bit more cropped but to be honest I don't think it would look too bad cropped I think it's got the right kind of look that it could be pulled off in a nice way even if it is a bit cropped The next thing is a pair of shoes. These sandals are such good Chloe dupes. They're like the kind of, I don't know how to describe it, the coffin shape ones. Um, that's what I felt when I saw them. I was just like, oh my god, they look like Chloe shoes. And you know what? They look so good on. They don't look cheap at all. Um, I've been wearing these non-stop. They're so comfortable. I mean, should I really be wearing sandals in this weather? Probably not, but you know what? I just for the season, not for the weather. Like the minute it gets to spring, I'm like, you will not catch me in a coat. <laughs> I will be like freezing and I'll be like, nope, I'm wearing a pretty dress and sandals. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'll be absolutely freezing, but <laughs> oh well. <laughs> no, honestly, these are beautiful and they look so nice. We've got painted toenails and they look so nice on holiday, but also just go around England like. Great. The next two things are also from Primark. Uh, first is this gorgeous dress. So I don't usually wear black, but I really like this. There's something about it I really like. Um, I love the kind of revere collar detail. We actually used to have blouses like this when I was in school, um, which it <laughs> kind of makes me think of. But at the same time, I always liked how that looked. I like it a lot more than like the shirt all the way up to the top. Um, 
think it's just a really flattering look. And the print is so, so nice. This like tropical vibe, I've seen quite a lot, especially Primark is like, if you are looking for anything tropical or like straw, rattan, that kind of material for holiday, like Primark is like your go-to because everything in there looks like it could be worn abroad. Like I was walking around like, oh my God, can I go on holiday please? <laughs> But this is absolutely gorgeous. It does have a tie waist detail, but it's a bit strange because it sort of comes out from the back. It's now, I'm quite petite around the waist, so I can pull it around the front and then tie it up at the back so it pulls me all the way in. But I'm feeling if you weren't so petite around the waist, it would only kind of fit around your front, which means it isn't really pulling it in at the waist. It's a bit odd. I don't get why they didn't just have a belt. So I've been sort of tying it around me, tucking it in, and then putting a belt over the top, which I think looks a lot nicer. But I mean, that's personal preference. You could literally just wear it. You could cut them off and wear it as like a shift dress, if that's more your style. £10 or £13, I can't quite remember. But it's an absolute bargain either way. Absolutely gorgeous. This dress is also from Primark, and this one's definitely £13. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's this white midi skirt. I love this. This is like my perfect dress. So it's got bows on the sleeves. It's got these beautiful buttons all the way down the front. Let me give you a closer look. Um, and these buttons would pair so, so nicely. Oh, it's not focusing. These buttons would pair so nicely with like a straw bag. I've actually ordered a straw bag, but it hasn't come in time. I thought it would for this video. I actually put off filming this video for a couple of days because I hoped it would come in time, but we didn't. <laughs> but oh well, I'll show you that when I get it. That'll be on my Instagram story. Fingers crossed it's as nice as the picture is online because I've ordered it off eBay. Which we saw from my week of eBay outfits can sometimes be a bit risky, <laughs> but we'll see. And there's also a little straw bag that I'm looking at in Primark, but fingers crossed next time I go in they'll have it. Because, you know, you just see something online, it was on their Twitter or their Instagram, and I completely fell in love with it. And I has, haven't had a chance to go to Primark, because I got these a few weeks ago. I just haven't had a chance to go to Primark since seeing it, and I'm like, oh my god, I need to go, I swear, because this is sold out. <laughs> I'm really upset. So yeah, that would look so nice with this. And this is, it gives me like French Riviera vibes. I'm in love, absolutely in love. Everything that's new in my wardrobe, uh, obviously you'll see them all styled up over my on my Instagram over the coming weeks and months. If you don't follow me on Instagram yet, I'm at Chloe Celia Goes Couture and I just put so many fashion, style, all sorts of outfits on there and I'm also trying to use stories a bit more so if you like hearing me chat on about nonsense throughout my day and showing you videos of me watching men Chelsea, <laughs> which is what I spend quite a lot of time on my stories doing, <laughs> then head over there. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!